Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Denny. If you are brand new, thank you for stopping in. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. Today I have my empties for you for the month of November. I have quite a big bin right in front of me with tons of things and I've gone back to masking just about every day. So you're going to see a bunch of masks and if that's something that you really, really enjoy, go ahead and check me out on my Instagram. My name is exactly as it is here, Gons Girl Denny, everywhere. So go ahead and follow me everywhere, you know, Instagram, TikTok, all of those places. <laughs> All right, let's get right on into this bin. If you don't already know, I do an empties video just about every month where I show you what I've been using for the month. Not only myself, but my husband as well. We kind of both use up the products that we have. And I show you what's in my bin and then I give you totals at the end. Hopefully you enjoy seeing those. And I had a goal, but we're, we're very shy from my goal. So my goal was to get to $6,000 of product spent yeah uh i doubt that we're gonna get there but we're still gonna see where i am and i think it's still a nice big chunk so like i said let's get right on into it first off we're gonna see that i have a bunch of soaps and i like to get these out right in the beginning just because they're in the way so i have here two soaps from dial one is the coconut water and mango and then the other one is the himalayan salt i think these are pretty good i like all of the dial soaps to be honest, and I would definitely just keep on getting them. I feel like they're affordable and they're good. Next up, we have a hair product. Haven't seen something like this in a while in my empties. I have the Herbals Essence Hairspray. Finally got through this. I feel like I have had this hairspray for, I wanna say like three years. This one is just a beautiful bold hold, whatever that means. It's a light hold. And you know, I mean, it worked. It's not my favorite. I have others that are like way better, but um, I did manage to finish this guy off. So if you like a light hold, I wouldn't even recommend this. So let's not even go there. So I'm not gonna get this again, but yeah, I did finish it off. <laughs> Next up, I have a shampoo item or yeah, it is a shampoo. This one right here is from Vidal Sassoon. I don't even remember when I got these. I feel like it was years ago and they were in my stockpile and I'm finally getting through them. So I have one of those bottles and I've never finished my shampoo with my conditioner. So you'll just never see those again. I like another, I like a professional shampoo better than this. The professional stuff you can't really get a hold of unless you have a cosmetology license to purchase it at one of those places like Cosmoprof and things like that. So might as well not even mention it. So let's just keep on going. Next, I have my good old favorite soaps. These right here. Oh, they're was about to hit my face i have um the arm and hammer uh clear water you guys already know i buy these and i stock up on them all the time i'm always gonna have these it's, it's like my soap of choice so you know if you know you know it smells like detergent Next up i have some vitamins and as usual i always say this with all of my videos when it comes to vitamins disclaimer please talk to your physician before you try anything new in your regimen. That said, my husband was actually taking the Goli Ashwagandha. I didn't like these as much as he does and he buys these religiously, like that's his number one thing. They're a stress relief type of gummy and he seems to think they work. I seem to think they're okay. They're not my favorite. Maybe because I didn't take them as often as he did, but he really likes those. And something that I enjoy, but not too many people enjoy, um, the Ollie's Sleep. This one's the extra strength. And I say that because with melatonin, what I've noticed is you either love melatonin or it does weird things to you at night. So uh, by weird things, I mean like sometimes people have said that when they take melatonin, it gives them nightmares. Like they go into this really deep sleep and then you can have like really dark dreams. So uh, that's actually happened to me. So I understand that part of it, but I'm just uh, so used to taking them that I go into that deep sleep and I almost, at this point, I kind of don't have those like nightmares that come up. But I remember when I first started taking it, I felt like, why am I having nightmares? And I think it's because you go into like a deeper sleep and then your subconscious starts to just like unravel things. God knows what. So I love those. 
but again talk to your doctor up oh, we have some deodorant this is my husband's deodorant it's the dove men's care he loves uh dove and degree and all of them so we get these for him i have another hair product in here this right here is the bio silk the 17 miracle love this stuff love the way it smells and how it feels it's a leave-in conditioner and it has like 17 different you know properties in it that really like help with your hair i find that it's just like a really good leave-in for my uh curls so i definitely like this and i would definitely repurchase this again and i have purchased it several times so recommend another product that i highly recommend is heat protectant to be honest this is the only heat protectant that i really use that i love it's my favorite it's the ic fantasia heat protector get a good look at it i think this one right here is one of the best heat protectants and it just smells really nice and protects my hair so that's the most important thing if you don't already have a heat protectant that you like I would recommend this, especially if you have more curly, textured, coarse hair. This is a really good one for people that have that type of texture. If you have fine hair, very greasy, oily type of hair, I would not recommend this one. I would recommend something just a little bit more like drier base. But for my hair, this is wonderful. Next up in here, I have a Edge Control by Softy, and this one... I picked up at the dollar store ended up finishing this guy up it took me a while and with these they do work but they're not as strong hold as other ones uh they're a little bit more flexible in the hair and then it, by like midday all your you know edges are out yeah do i recommend it no there's better products did i try it yes because i wanted to see how it was Next up, I have a skincare product. This right here is the serum that I was using, the pill. This smells awful. I do not recommend based on the smell. It was very hard for me to tolerate this. Like I, I there were several times while I was using this that I wanted to chuck it and never see it again. So I'm just grateful that it's done and over with. Do not recommend that. <laughs> also, I have like some lashes this time around. They're actually on the outside of the box. I ended up using the Ioni Mink Lashes. These are in the Natural Light Wispy Doll. Love these. Wore them about, I want to say, 10 consecutive days in a row. And they just were like going and going and going. They probably could have gone a little bit longer. But once, the, once it starts getting gunky and I have to clean them and it, like the cleaning process gets harder, I just um, I can't deal with it. So they're gone. Um, but... If I see these again, definitely recommend them. Like them a whole lot. Another one that I used a bunch were the Kiss uh, Blooming Lash. These, yeah, they're in there as well. They're very light. Um, the band is nice and soft and flexible. And I think that's like key to when you want to put on some lashes. It has to have like a nice flexible band. Uh, the Ayani has like a thicker band. The Kiss one has a softer one. Lots of nail products. Let's see, this one was actually from October, not from November. Forgot that I had used these. And then ended up using these from Kiss, which are like blue. Um, I really like these and they come with a lot of different sizes. Then a Sassy and Chic package. One from the Sassy and Chic, but they were claw type. Then we have another Sassy and Chic. I had these burgundy ones from Kiss. And we have these iridescent, like, pink ones from Kiss. I really went through a lot of nails. How did I go through all these nails? I think, like, every three days I was changing my nails. Then I had these that were marbled from Sassy and Chic. And I feel like Sassy and Chic, this brand, is, like, leaving the dollar store. I think they just gave it a new name. And then I ended up using this pack right here from Nail Her. And um, these were nice as well. Uh, these come with a lot of options. I use the size that I need. If I had someone who had like bigger nail beds, they could have used those other ones, but I don't have any ones, so they're just, I'm not going to use them. Oh, there was a little pack of nails. Gosh, the nails just keep on like flowing. And these other ones from LA Colors. <laughs> Why did I want to say LA Girl? And then these right here were also from October. I think that's what it is. Some of October's never got thrown out. So they're in November's. These right here, they were really nice. And as you see, there's like a lot more 
nails in there. Ended up using some cotton rounds. And then I have here two packs of the uh, U by Kotex. And um, these are penny liners. So use those. We have another soap. This one right here is from Nouvelle and it's the Fresh Peach. Um, I was really liking this one. I think I'm going to switch to something a little bit more thicker like the dial because it, it just works for me. Ended up using up some toothpaste from Colgate. Finish this guy off. We also have another little um, Colgate one. This one is in the uh, enamel health. And I found that with this one, my teeth didn't feel as clean for longer. Like when I used the optic white, the optic white, I feel like my teeth feel cleaner more throughout the day than with this one could be all like in my head but I don't know <laughs> oh okay so to go along with all those nails I did have some super glue used up three bottles of the super glue that I really enjoy let me just turn these around so you can see what that is they come in a two-pack like this at the Dollar Tree um so I used three of those and then I used this guy right here that is like a brush on one this actually has a bunch in here but it does not oh does it want to open oh at one point it felt like it didn't want to open I think I threw this out because it didn't it doesn't stick the, the nails don't stay on with this even though it has like that nifty little brush and I think that brush is awesome but I mean if I could get the super glue with the brush method that would be the best we have my toothbrush head from uh, burst I wanted to say smile, but it's from Burst and it's a charcoal toothbrush head. This is like my toothbrush of choice, obviously. I ended up finishing off an eye cream. This one right here is from Sweet Chef and it's the turmeric vitamin C and uh, used that guy up. I thought it was good. Two boxes of puff tissues were used. I keep purchasing more of the puff ones. I was sick last month several times, so... I went through some boxes of tissues. I also ended up finishing up a pack of the Global Beauty Care wipes. These come with a 60 count and I got them at the dollar store when I saw that it came with so many. I was excited and if I see them I will definitely get the 60 pack again versus like the 30 because you just get more for your money you know. I have here two razor um facial razors like the ones that you um dermaplane with I think or you know you just shave the hair off so this one right here is from the dollar store brand that have like no name I think they were sassy and chic to be honest hated it well uh, never ever purchased them again then I got the tinkle ones and the tinkle ones are amazing that was actually upside down um does it focus tinkle yeah I really um enjoy these they work really well and I believe they come in single packs or three packs and I will definitely pick these up there's also a little sample packet of the Clarins this one is their instant smooth perfecting touch like uh it's like a base or like a primer and it works well so I use that oh there is a tool in here that I threw out I have these um lash uh I guess like it's a lash tweezer but for some reason i don't know if you can see but they don't close all the way anymore so they're trash on to the mask that seemed to be leaking like always <laughs> so as i go through these masks you know i'll do like thumbs up thumbs down or like sideways thumb that means like okay we have an eye mask from skin camp we have this so a um peeling glow that comes with the gumage and then the um the actual mask i thought this one was good then we have from um brtc this guy this one was good this is all slimy we have the bling pop bling pop was fine uh we have this b complex one that was good we have the chill out fox we have the brighten and tight from Valero. Oh, egg whites and aloe. Uh, I think they're like sideways. Uh, the tea tree one that was good. We have oh this clay one. I need to mention this. This one from OK. It was it was really good and it had like the clay in the mask, which I had never seen before, and I thought that was super cool and interesting to have like 
that actual clay on it decent we have this one right here from orgena and i thought it was good um this lip mask um from Co uh, coco star mm, i'm gonna like, give it a <laughs> like thumbs down on the fact that it was like dry and i had to like moisten it in order for it to work uh, uh then we have another one from bolero and again these are just like mid i mean they're not they're not bad but they're not great from crumb shop we had these eye patches and i think these are good then um from stella stella and this was okay I, and you know what i'm gonna give it a sideways like in between <laughs> then we have this brightening one by elf this one's good I have the found one and this was a red clay one this felt good then we have this one right here I feel like this one was good yeah i'm gonna say it was good this one from lily this one was fine this lip plumping one from freeman this one was good we have another one from found and it was a cucumber one that one was good I have from 111 skin excellent love those jinju i don't know if i'm saying that correctly this one was good this one is like really saturated in like liquids like i don't know if you can see there's serum everywhere this one's a sleep mask from found and this one was good and then we have here from purin skin the um pear one also good this one from taste beauty i think these are like just in the middle too they're not the best and they have like a lot of fragrance so they're not the best for your skin uh one from pure least this one was good and then this other thing is not a it's not a mask it's a actually a hair hair treatment maybe it is it's a hair mask and it's from high pro pack and it's the keratin protein no frizz hair like treatment you can take a good look at it love this stuff need to purchase more of it <laughs> i need to get it in like a pot because it was really good yeah totally need to get that again and there was another hair mask this one right here from john frida the frizz uh wonder drop one it was fine now that was everything that was inside my bin and we can go over some totals so i'm gonna just pull out my notebook because on my notebook i have everything we have the month of november i used a total of $338 with 65 cents. Combined with my total from the rest of the year to date, I have used up $4,256 with 61 cents. I'm not mad at that. I'm like, I'm looking at that like that's an amazing amount of products. I can never be mad that I used that much, especially if I'm using things up. What I do feel sad about is that I'm so far from that $6,000 mark. And there's absolutely no way, like, no way possible that I'm going to get to that $6,000 mark. Like, I, I can't see myself using over $1,000 worth of products in one month. It's just not going to happen. So, my goal was very, like, I've give myself a really high goal and maybe for next year I think I'm gonna do a much smaller goal um back to like five thousand dollars used I I think that's a good place in a year I think you can use up to five thousand dollars worth of products I mean when I do these things just just for context it's not just like skincare it's hair it's body uh things uh, vitamins i also like include my husband's products i don't really put cleaning products in here i have put like candles and things like that that i have used up in the past perfumes so just things that i really like to use up go into this i just think it's a great way to keep accountability of what you're purchasing and what you're spending what you're using i'm really big on if you purchase something use it try it give it the benefit of the doubt and see if it's something that you like if it's something that you love continue to purchase it if it's something that you didn't like just move on to something else but finish it because i used to be the type of person who never finished their products and then i had a whole bathroom full of junk and it was just like okay i'm never going to use the shampoo never going to use that lotion everything's just sitting there and i keep buying more but i'm not finishing what i have so from 
I think it's been over like two or three years now that I've been really focusing on using up what I have and like not purchasing more things um, that I'm not going to use. So everything that I really purchase, I kind of just, I use and I can justify it because I do, as you see, I use things up. But, um, but yeah, so I'm rambling at the end of the day. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, anything that I do, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of My Guns Fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.